Number one location of the blessing, the blessing is in a man, in a woman. So one of the first things you must first know that you have been blessed and you are a carrier of the blessing. Anywhere you enter, you enter with the blessing. Uh, I, thought I'm, I thought I'm hearing somebody here. Anywhere you enter, you enter with the blessing. Blessed shall that be where that goes out. Blessed shall that be where that comes in. Blessed shall be everything you touch. If you are a lady, you enter a man's house, you bring the blessing there. You enter that organization, you bring the blessing there. I came to change your mentality. I want you to touch your head and say, I'm not under a curse. I am blessed. I'm not hearing you. Joshua Igila is blessed. If you don't know your name, call my name. Joshua Igila is blessed. Number two. The blessing is in a geographical location. It is not everywhere you go that you get blessed. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 and 2. God told Abraham to leave his father out to a place. He said that we make thy name great. Uh, you know, Abraham was not blessed until he left his father's house. Hear me. Some of you, your blessing is not in your state. It can be in another location. Am I communicating? I, I, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. So sometimes you need to understand that where you are is not where the blessing is. The blessing can be in another location. So sometimes you can labor here and not get blessed until you get to the location. Everything God created, God created a place for them. The fish has a place. The animals in the jungle have a place. You as a human being, you have a place. The birds of the air have a place. And hear me, if you are not in your place, you cannot get a location if you are not in your place. Your allocation is in your location. I prophesy that place where your blessing will manifest. From today, your leg will carry you there. I was in Ogun State for some years. I moved from Agilete to Owode, from Owode to Songo Ota. I stayed after some time. I moved to Lagos. And from Lagos, I moved to Ibadan. From Ibadan, I was in Delta State, Akomazi. From Akomazi to Ebuzo. I moved from there. I came to Nasarawa. I moved from there until I landed in Abuja here. From Nasarawa, I went back to Ibadan. Hear me? In the quest to get your location, you might look like a wanderer until the God of wonder make your wandering to become wonders. I thought I'm talking to somebody here. May you not be in the place where you are tolerated, but you will be in the place where you are celebrated. So people will marry a man and from that day they are under a curse. And another woman will marry a man and from that day they are blessed. I prophesy your location that will saturate your life and elevate your life. I move you there. Can I talk here? Even church is a location be under every pastor. You are moving from pillar to pole. That's why things have not changed. Know your church. Know your prophet. Know your location. It is not every prophet that will bless you. Uh, I talk, I'm talking to somebody here. Say, 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 I, I like that church. All they do, they do 60 days fasting. You don't need to like the method. You need to ask yourself, is that my place? When you get to your place, even when you are offended, you are not removed. Oh, you are not getting me. Some of you are working in a job right now and they are paying you. Your colleagues at work might be offensive. 
They might irritate you, but why are you not living? You are not living because you are getting your monthly salary allowance every day. So you tell yourself, will I live because of this person? No, I'm not living. And when they increase your salary, you decide to stay. Hear me very well. Do not allow people to take you out of your place because you don't have stamina to stand storm. You are looking for a church where nobody will offend you. You are looking for a church where nobody will stop, step on your feet. You are looking for a church where the pastor sometimes will not offend you. You are not ready to stay on earth. If you are ready, when you get to your place and where you get your oil, where there is your oil well, you stay there. Whether you break my leg, I am around the place because this is my place of blessing. You don't abort a baby because you feel the kick of the baby is painful. No matter how painful the baby kick me and sometimes the pregnant woman can move her leg, I don't care. You are in this place. We are together until the blessing manifests. I will wait until the nine month where the blessing that trouble me become my laughter. Number three, your location of blessing is in another man. Now hear me. I have talked about geographical location. Now I'm not talking about persons. Some of you are not blessed because every association brings assimilation. If you are not a relationship keeper, you are a destiny killer. Some of us are not blessed because we don't water relationship. We kill relationship. Hear me. There are people that God has raised up that are going to open doors that you cannot open. Hear me. What you are aspiring to acquire, somebody has already acquired it. Hear me. What you want to become, somebody has already become. And that is why you must learn to keep relationship downward and upward. If you feel that this life is centered around you and you are not a relationship keeper, you are not a go-keeper of blessing. God don't bless people who don't honor others. Some people will be better than you in this life. Believe me or you don't believe me. The blessing is not in age. If a 20-year-old boy has the billion that will turn my life around, I will come down the ladder to honor him. Some of you, you are too proud. That's why you are not lifted. Stop talking about your PhD. You have PhD, but yet you don't have money. There is a primary six drop out and yet have wisdom to make money through business. Calm down. Your English language is not tantamount to money. Let's be, you need to understand the dimension that puts you on top. If you don't value people, you will be devalued. Nobody arrives greatness by speaking in tongues and killing relationship. Relationship is not perfect movement of people. It is a movement of people that will offend each other but set their eyes on goals. You must define purpose of relationship. Don't relate with people that are contentless. Who cannot motivate you who cannot influence you, who cannot bring, you are looking for people you can subject. That is why you are going nowhere. Every relationship should challenge you. If you hate competition, you cannot go forward. If everybody that is around you do not challenge you, you have what I call a slave master mentality. You want to dominate people. And I tell you, you cannot go above where you are. 
if at every argument a relationship you have with anybody breaks, you are not ready to be great. If at every argument the relationship you have with anybody breaks, you are not ready to be great. Great people can keep relationship even though it is offensive. Ah. You are not getting me. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody? Somebody once come to this church and he met me at the gate. And he said to me, I'm looking for the pastor of this church. And, and, and um, the security at the gate, they said, no, that's the pastor. He said, no, that's, that's not the, we are not putting some board, bill, uh, my, 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 my pictures as we do now. So he, 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 he felt that I'm not qualified for it. That's his. And then, eventually he sat down and then he asked me, how old are you? He came with a trailer of problem, but he was asking me my age. I smiled. It was offensive. I had to tolerate him. I saw somebody that is very arrogant, but yet have qualities that are positive. When I started prophesying to him, he broke down and knelt down. I said, no, sit down. I said, no, sir. Let me kneel down, sir. Now, by the time I finished with this man, there was some fantastic part of this man that was so powerful. I, he was a good businessman and a very blessed man and good at what he does. I learned a lot from him that also advanced my life. Hear me, every relationship is not useless. If you are and know how to mind relationship, stop trying to conquer people to be like you. I'm not born in the same family you are born. I was not brought up by your descent father. I have my background. I have the way I think. And you cannot colonize me to look like you before you accept me. Learn to understand individual differences, people's personality, and set goals, boundaries, and patterns if you want to be great. One of the greatest problems of the church. Somebody must speak in tongues before I relate with him. Somebody must be a Pentecostal pastor before I relate with him. This is why the church is poor. If a sister does not tie her, I'm not going to talk to her because she's not holy. This is why there's bankruptcy of relationship everywhere. Speaking in tongues, lonely, isolated, demented, and depressed. Religion is not slavery. In fact, we don't have religion, we have relationship. The location of the blessing is in another man, another woman. Sister, if you can value that sister you are jealous of, you would have been better by virtue of relationship. Hear me, when relationship purpose is defined, you will mind and you become symbiotic and not paralytic. So many of us have a parasitical mentality. We are the host. I mean, we are the parasite, always feeding. We are giving nothing. We are mining and sucking out people. We have nothing to put on the table. And that is why people get tired of us and then they withdraw from us. Number four. The blessing is also in the spirit. The blessing is a software. 
that you cannot see physically, but when it is conferred on you, <laughs> it changes things around you. When Isaac blessed Jacob, it was a spiritual software. Ah, the blessing came on Jacob. And when Esau asked Isaac, Where is the blessing? And the father Isaac told Esau, Your brother have taken all the blessing. But when thou art restless, thou shalt break the yoke of thy brother of thy neck. So the blessing came on, on, on Jacob. But hear me. Jacob for more than 14 years was carrying the blessing and there was no manifestation. Laban, the father-in-law, manipulated him. It was a blessing on him that never manifested. It was a battle. Jacob wrestled until the blessing manifested evidentially. Hear me well. When, when, when Joseph became very old, the children were brought to him, uh, to, 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 Je to, to Jacob. And the Bible said when it was time, Jacob crossed his hand on Manasseh and Ephraim. The blessing came. The blessing came. You must understand how the blessing is. The blessing is a software and is in the realm of the spirit. You might not see what I carry, but I'm blessed. When blessed, when I speak in tongues in the dimension of the spirit, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed.